How to frame fabric. If you need a quick, inexpensive way to decorate your living space, consider framing a piece of decorative fabric for a creative and appealing accent. Generally, you can frame fabric using a picture frame, canvas, or embroidery hoop. Each option is fairly simple. Standard picture frame. Match the frame to the fabric. You might find it easiest to choose the fabric you want to frame first. After you've settled on one, look for a frame that coordinates well with the color and style of the fabric. You have various options to work with when selecting the fabric you want to frame. For something easy to work with, a fabric with a continuous, symmetrical pattern is a good choice. For something bolder and more eye-catching, look for larger prints. Home decorator fabric works especially well due to its dimensions and weight, but you can choose lighter fabrics, as well. You will need anywhere from 1 quarter to 1 half yard 22.86 to 45.72 centimeters of fabric. The frame should also be the right size to adequately showcase the pattern of the fabric. If you have an elaborate print, consider using a simpler frame so that the print becomes the focal point. In contrast, if you have a simpler or smaller print, try spicing it up with a decorative or vintage frame. Choose the best composition. Remove the glass and place the frame over the fabric with both the frame and the fabric facing right side up. Move the frame around until you figure out the best portion of the fabric to frame. You might want to consider wearing gloves when you remove the glass to protect your hands from any sharp edges. Note that this step is much easier if you have a continuous, symmetrical pattern since there will not be much variation no matter where you place the frame. If you chose a fabric with a larger print, though, you might have to play around with it for a while before you find a composition that appeals to your aesthetic sense. Iron the fabric. After figuring out the portion of fabric you want to frame, make sure that this portion is wrinkle-free. Use an iron to remove any creases or wrinkles. Alternatively, you could iron the entire piece of fabric before choosing your composition. Ironing it after you make your selection allows you to focus your efforts on one specific patch of fabric, though, thereby saving time. Make sure that you pay attention to the make of the fabric before you iron it. Heavier fabrics need a stronger heat setting while light or delicate fabrics need very low heat, if they can tolerate heated ironing at all. Place the backing over the fabric. With the fabric wrong side up, place the backing of the frame right side up on top of it. Make sure that the portion of the fabric you selected for your composition is centered under the backing. You may wish to trim the fabric before doing this step, but make sure that you have plenty of overhang to play with if you decide to do so. Trim the edges of the fabric. Cut the edges of the fabric so that there are 2 to 3 inches 5 to 7.6 centimeters of overhang past the backing on either side. You may opt to either attach the fabric to the backing or leave it free. Trim the top and bottom so that they are practically flush with the backing of the frame. Doing so will prevent the fabric from bunching up. Do not make the sides flush with the backing, though, since the fabric could end up sliding around inside the frame if it matches the dimensions of the frame perfectly. If you want to attach the fabric to the backing, you could use spray adhesive or staples to do so. Put the frame back together. Carefully place the glass back into the frame, followed by the fabric and the backing. Pull the fabric taut once more before securing the frame to the backing. You could also leave the glass off if you want the texture of the fabric to stand out more. Make sure that a little of the fabric sticks out of the back on either side of the frame. This will help you tighten, straighten, and otherwise adjust the fabric after you place the frame on. Use as desired. This completes the project. You should now be able to use your framed fabric to adorn and beautify your walls.